Well, g'day folks on YouTube. I thought I'd give you an update on this poor PC that had a traumatic experience. I figured out what was wrong with it and luckily it was only a minor thing because some cockroaches actually got into the power supply here and short-circuited it. Um, and that's why it was creating all those sparks and smokes. But luckily it didn't damage anything besides the poor cockroaches. So I've just uh, sprayed some raid in there to, to scare them away and to get rid of any cockroaches. So I gave it a quick vacuum and dried out, dried up all the components just to make sure. I've also got a new kick butt fan in there. So I've replaced a crappy little LED one there because that one actually popped when this whole unit went insane. It's still got the standard stock fan. It's got Intel Core. I have no idea. It looks like... I think Intel Core i7 8th generation, 64 gigabytes of RAM, built-in 4K graphics card. That's actually not the stock graphics card in there, it has been upgraded. It's got a 1000 watt power supply. It's got 5 terabytes storage hard drives, 3 of them, so that will make 15 terabytes. And a 500 gigabytes one from an old laptop. And uh, it's very difficult to film and put this case back on. I could probably just um, end up. Uh, I just had to pause this video so I could put this stupid case on. Alright, so now I've got the cover back on. The cover's actually now held on by Phillips head screws here and here instead of those little twist ones. So stop people from tampering with them because this is in my in my lab. This isn't actually my lab here. This is my own personal space. But often I used to have my work computer and now I had to bolt it down to stop people from stealing my hard drives and stuff. Which thankfully they don't, but I've had a few break-ins into this room so it helps prevent that. And uh, so now, so I haven't really tested it in a while, so I'm heavy breathing. I'm just, I suffer from a bit of asthma and there's a lot of dust in this room, so I've got a bit of hay fever. And uh, so I haven't really tested it like very often, but the last time I tested it, it works. Now just a heads up, it is a bit noisy when it first starts up, because that's when it goes through all the tests and stuff. And it's got a new, it's got a new, um, very powerful fan in there now. It's low revs, but it's very high airflow. It's like literally like a tornado. Sometimes if there's hair in here, you can actually literally see it swirl around. And I'm thinking of getting one for the front. I don't know whether they have the back one at the back to keep the CPU cool, or whether they have it at the front to keep the hard drives cool. But they don't get that hot. Because they're, they're solid state, those ones. In fact, the only one that's not solid state is that little one there. So, and now I've got this little TV here to power it now. So, let's see if it um, boots up. It should. Now, just a heads up, it is a bit noisy when it first boots. We got visual. And then as soon as it gets onto Windows, the fans go go silent after it's done all its tests and stuff. Um, don't look at my password please. Okay, now you can look. And that's one of my dogs and he's chilling with a few of my old toys. That was take, taken in 2006, that one. And that's my calf. So that's good. So now it works. It doesn't light up anymore, but it's okay. It's got a more powerful fan in there. So um, as you can hear, you're probably wondering that my room's quite quiet at the moment. Well, that's because there was a storm that happened five days ago, a real bad storm. And uh, it knocked out half of my service. So that's why my room's a bit more quieter. And I'm so thankful I got this thing running before it did. And I uh, managed, to, managed to put some of the hard drives in there. So I'll show you a bit around. There's not really much to see around here. I have to try and aim for the floor because there's a few messy stuff. Like those tools. I hate people when they leave my tools around like this. It, it frustrates me because I... <sighs> Look, in my poor cowboy hat. There's my dog. He's lying on my computer fans. Thank you, Jack. Now, I do have five dogs at my place. He is one of them. He is a Welsh Springer Spaniel. I also have a Retriever, a Blue Healer, a German Shepherd dog, 
and a red kelpie which they don't really show up very often because they get camera shy and I'm and I think because I did a destruction one earlier I think they got spooked so I had to try and find them and recomfort them so that's the old so under these two that's the old one that used to be in that and that um this I had to go over here this desktop over there I had to just try and aim away because there's some stuff in here that I that you do not want to see believe me no, it's not any of that gross stuff. It's it's just personal stuff that I prefer that you guys don't want to see. Trust me. So um, that's from there. These two are just stock fans and stuff. And I'm building a little fan unit out of them for extraction. That one lights up blue, that one. That one's quite noisy for its size. That's our Xbox 360 power supply, which is not supposed to be there. So this is what happens... Because I've had a few break-ins in this room, so there's been things thrown everywhere. And I'm sick of it. And I'm absolutely sick of people breaking into my room to try and steal my technology. But unfortunately, they don't succeed. So that's why I try to keep my my details hidden for now. Because, um, it... So yeah, because I... So if you're wondering why I haven't been publishing very often, well... There's been a lot been happening, but also I've had a few break-ins as well, so I'm trying trying to sort that out and finally got this going. So I got I got some bug paste in there. So that way so it's baiting on the like components like um that won't that not on the board or something, but like on the um on the inside here is like dollops of paste. But it's actually not paste. It, what it is is basically it's, it's cockroach stuff, so the cockroaches go in there, they eat it, then they run away and they die. And anything that goes to eat that, well, it's safe for cats and dogs, but not for cockroaches. I know what you guys are thinking, it's animal cruelty, and I totally understand that. But it's mainly just to keep them at bay. It's mainly just more for the smell, because the smell they don't like. And uh, if, and uh, so basically what I try to do, I try to just scare them away, more likely. That's why I keep this thing running 24-7. I only just turned it off for the demo and stuff. So um, I'll show you what, so might as well when I got this thing, I'll show you what everything does. So basically, um, so this is my mouse. I don't actually use it for gaming and stuff, so that's my thermal controller that can go and stuff itself, because I hate it. So um, that's my mouse. And this is my editing keyboard, where it's got all my hotkeys and stuff, but I also use it for gaming. I don't game on this very often. The reason why I got a powerful computer is made for editing and stuff, but I've been trying to edit these videos, but it just does not work for some reason and I've only just started to boot that up then there's my main keyboard that does change color then there's my joystick which I use for video editing monitoring the surveillance cameras and also my flight simulator game just for just for giggles and there is a KFC wrapper I don't have no idea why that's there finger licking good <laughs> try telling that to 2020 that being that um, they had to change their logo from finger licking good to something else because that's from 26. That's And that's my poor Samsung Galaxy S9 because it got broken. So yeah, so that's um, in repairs at the moment. I'm fixing that. All that's wrong with it is the LCD, but the uh, the graphics card chip has actually, has actually been damaged. So that's what all this is about. And the back plate's been damaged. So this is what I used to use for filming and stuff until it's just gone kabloomy. And I've disconnected the battery to prevent any shorts and stuff. Oh, my poor phone. But now I've got a Samsung Galaxy S10. And this took quite an impact. I mean, this took quite an impact to get it to this stage. In fact, it's only in this condition because, well, basically, um, I had to pull it apart to try and get to the main board. But it took a lot of impacts. It, like, this, this took, like... A two-story building, five years of being run over by quad bikes, tractors, hit by cows, hit by rocks. And then it just got to the point where it just decided to give up. Which for an iPhone, that will be dead within the first day. Thank you, Apple. But I'm not here to judge. So I'm running out of time here, so please give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And, uh... And I do apologize for for not publishing lately. My hay fever is getting really bad, so I might um 
So I might film Jack for a little bit because there's some people on my channel that like um, watching my dogs and stuff. And before I go, there's actually a reason why I named this channel Doggy Lovers Channel because a lot of people have been asking, like, why Doggy Lovers Channel? Well, because when I first started, it was actually basically about blogs about my dogs and stuff. And the main reason why I created this channel because, like, um, it started off with my dogs and stuff. It was meant to be blogs about them, but then it got to other stuff. So mainly, I don't mainly do it for the views and stuff. I mean, it's nice to get views and likes, but I may just like uh, publish a video and just see how it goes, but also for storage as well. So if I lose everything off my server, at least I can get some off YouTube and stuff. And you never know, I might be, I might publish a video one day and you might see me on the big screens. You might see me on the big screens anyway, because I do a lot of uh, film editing and stuff. So that's why... I tend to leave my, my worst stuff on YouTube, but I'm trying to get some of my best stuff on now that i got my PC running again. And this is my Macintosh. I'm at, at the moment, it's in screensaver. I've actually got a, a video where I'm actually testing the RAM and uh, until it fails and stuff. And it survived that quite nicely. I'm actually going to publish that one. That one was released... Um, that one will be released today with this video so um so i hope you like this video i'm going to end this video right here because my hay fever is getting really bad and i'm probably going to pass out but i'm all, i'm all good I'll, I'll be good i just need to sleep sleep it off so um so i hope you like this video and uh thank you so much for watching and anything you got to say to the camera jack no okay so now I just got to find my other four dogs and get their beds ready. So that way we can, so I can, I can sleep off this hay fever and thanks for watching.